Hello, Tableau Conference 2018. How's it going? How's everybody doing? Yeah. 17,000 data enthusiasts under one roof. What a phenomenal conference, right? Welcome and hello to everyone who's tuned in live from across the globe. Welcome. Welcome to our session, Advanced Visual Analytics at Scale, Empowering Actionable Insights at Verizon. To introduce myself, I'm Siddharth Dayama, and I lead data visualization at the Contact Center Analytics team in Verizon's Analytics Center of Excellence, ACE, as we like to call it. Prior to Verizon, I worked at WTA Networks, led finance and analytics, and I got to work with some of the world's best tennis players at that time, including Maria Sharapova and Novak Djokovic. My academic background is primarily in finance and during my master's at NYU, I got particularly interested in the Ethereum blockchain. So in a nutshell, you'll find me creating data visualizations during the day and trading cryptocurrencies at night. So if any blockchain enthusiasts out there, let's talk, I've used Tableau to explore the space uh, and we'll we can have some good discussions. With me today, I have Greg McConney. Thank you, Sid. So my name is Greg McConney. I lead the Contact Center Analytics team at Verizon or in the Analytics Center of Excellence. Uh, a little bit about myself, my, I studied physics and math in college, which led me right into a business intelligence role in the insurance industry. Uh, in that role, I built lots of SQL queries, lots of predictive models, or as they like to call them today, machine learning and AI. Um, after that, went into a little bit of analytics consulting, and about two and a half years ago, joined Verizon, and I've been doing customer engagement analytics ever since. So what are we going to talk about today? We have two main sections for today's presentation. In the first one, we'll talk about who we are and what we do, so the different businesses that fall under Verizon consumer markets, and then we look at how does that translate to big data at scale. We'll touch upon how does that data flow across the organization, so the different pieces of our data ingestion pipeline. And then we look at how we've organized certain resources and applied certain best practices in our data science teams. Before I get into the second section, a quick show of hands. How many of you actually develop Tableau dashboards at work and beyond, like your Tableau developers? Sweet. So this session, this section of the session is dashboard heavy. And we'll get into the nuances that are involved in creating effective views and visualizations in Tableau. So in this section, we'll talk about how we use visual analytics at Verizon to solve complex business problems. And we have four area specific case studies. We'll touch on how we use data to optimize call center operations so that we reduce the need for customers to call us multiple times. Customers hate calling us multiple times. How can we optimize field technician dispatch operations to reduce the need for dispatches being generated altogether? Customers do not want to stay at home and wait for a technician. Then we look at how can we use data to help launch new digital products to enable customers to engage with the Verizon brand more and more in an intuitive and seamless fashion. So in this one, we'll cover a few chatbot use cases. And in the last one, we look at how can we use data to design experiences, digital experiences, so that we make it easy for customers to self-serve online. And in this case, we'll particularly talk about how can they renew their contracts online. So what is Verizon Consumer Markets and what is Fios? Verizon Consumer Markets provides residential connectivity solutions, including home internet, cable TV, landline phone connections. And all of these services are offered on top of our 100% fiber optic network under the brand Fios. Fios is the largest fiber optic network in the US and we also offer the fastest home broadband speeds through a gigabit connection. So let's look at a few numbers. We've got 6.9 million broadband connections, four and a half million TV subscribers, 12.2 million landline phone connections, 
covering 10 states, primarily on the East Coast. And all of this translates to big data at scale. To give you a sense, 200 plus server nodes at 15 petabytes of data, data warehouse capacity, we generate four plus TBs of data every single day through the activity that happens uh, on our online digital properties and the call center operations and the dispatch operations. And in a minute, Greg will talk about from where does this data, data get generated. More than two petabytes of data is extracted from our warehouses every single day by different analysts and different data scientists uh, in the organization for in-house analysis. And strictly from a Tableau perspective, we have a two TV on-premise Tableau server on which at any given point of time, we have more than 55 GBs of data extracts published that power our dashboards throughout the organization. With that, let me turn it over to Greg to talk about how does this data flow across the organization? Thank you, Sid. So we want to talk a little bit how our data moves from our source systems all the way to when you see visualizations. So on the very left, you see a lot of our systems. You have digital activity, customers engaging with our mobile apps or our website. You have customers engaging with our products. You have call centers. People want to call to sign up, inquire about pricing. You also have service questions, people looking to change things on their account. You also have tech support. Have you ever had a problem with any of your equipment? Well, you might need to call and get that fixed. Uh, we also have dispatch centers. We may need to send someone out to your house to do your installation or to repair if you're an existing customer. You need to take all that data and then move it into our data warehouse. So we have an ingestion layer. And when it gets into our warehouse, we use two different products primarily. So it's mostly Hadoop and Teradata. So Hadoop stores most of our large data, which is our online data, and Teradata stores most of our offline data or our smaller data. It's critical that we are always connecting those two things together. So when you get into the querying part and the analysis part, we use things like Hue and Squirrel and um, Teradata, SQL Server, whatever is really needed to pull the data. And once you've pulled the data, we need to analyze it. So we use a lot of different technology to analyze data. So a very common interview question that I might get from a candidate is, if I were hired as a data scientist, what technology could I use to generate my insights or build my algorithms? My answer is very simple. You can use whatever you want. We like to be open to letting data scientists use whatever technology they want to use to be most successful. But I will say, by far, we use R, SAS, and Python for most of our models. And I'll hand it over to Sid to touch upon the visualization software that we use. Thank you. So once the analysis is arrived at by the different data scientists in the team, it is extremely crucial to, one, distribute those insights to the decision makers in the organization in a consumable fashion in the most intuitive way, in the most visual way, and two, to automate those insights so that they can be monitored timely moving forward without having to go back to the drawing board, without having to redo the work and rewrite the queries. So Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server are our primary visualization and reporting tools at Verizon, through which we distribute insights to the decision makers in the organization, and I should say, in a manner which is more and more self-serving, thanks to the capabilities Tableau brings in. So Tableau dashboards are used across the organization by different operations managers, business transformation teams, product managers, marketing managers, even software engineers. So particularly in the chatbot use case, we'll talk about information from our dashboard, insights from our dashboards, uh, have been extracted by software engineers to enhance the capabilities of the chatbot to train the intelligence of the bot. We'll take a look at that. And last but not the least, our executives and leadership who set the direction of the business. In the next slide, we'll talk about the different functions that fall under analytics center of excellence. 